What's up, YouTube? Back with another video, and today I'm gonna go over five plays in the Trailblazers playbook here in 2K23. These plays are on next gen. If you want current gen, I'll leave uh, some plays in the pinned comment in the comment section that are really good that you can use. And with that being said, let's get into it. The first play is Fist 21 Iverson. This is a pick and roll play. You can call for anybody with pick and roll, ball handler priority. If you don't know what play priorities are, there's a video in the description that can help. And even though this is a pick and roll play, I like using it to get some threes on the wing. So I'm going to run it and then go into replay and talk about it. So right here, I call it for Dame, and he starts with the ball up here at the top. Then you can either do this handoff or dribble off like to the wing corner area. Um, if you just hold the ball and dribble over here, you'll just get a screen from either Nurkic or Grant. But I like to hand the ball off, and I give it to Simons, and then when you do that, you get like these two like Iverson screens, you can call them. And Dame, he goes from... One wing to the other and a lot of times you'll be open for this three so um i get open and i take the shot so i remember this play from last year it's one of my favorite plays and it still is like i said you'll get that you'll get this wing three a lot and if you don't the play goes into a pick and roll so you can create shots from that and yeah we on hall of fame you can make fading threes on hall of fame and like i said if you don't do this handoff and just um dribble over here to the wing You'll get this screen from from Nurkic, but I don't really like this just because you don't really have a lot of space to work with. So you come up the screen, but um, yeah, it's just it's just not it's, like I said, it's just not enough space for you to work with over here. So I don't really like that. Like I said, I prefer to hand off into the the Iverson screens for the three, and then you get that that pick and roll if you don't get the shot. But more times than not, you're gonna get the shot. The next play is Fist 83 double. This is a pick and roll play. You can call for anybody with pick and roll ball handler priority. And it's a double ball screen play with a three point option as well. So, right here, I'll call it for Dame. He starts with the ball at the top. And then Simons will get this screen from Nurkic and come out to the wing. So, a lot of times you'll have this three. And you can pass it to him like a little earlier so he's not so far back. If you pass it to him a little early, he'll catch it like right here, which is, you know, in range of pretty much anybody who's a decent shooter. But even if you do catch out here, if you got somebody that has limitless range, you can hit that shot. And if you don't get the shot, uh, pass it back to Dame and then the play goes into this double ball screen. And from here, I just take my fade. So this play actually has quite a bit of like double ball screen plays that I'll talk about towards the end. But this one is probably my favorite just because of how much space you have to work with. Like you basically have the whole right side of the, of the court to yourself. So when you come off those two screens, there's so much you can do. You could, you know, drop to the rim. You could go baseline and take those uh, mid range pull ups. You could go corner, do step backs into the corner for the three or just run to the corner and do fading threes. Sometimes you'll have that three on the wing, like I did in the example. Um, a lot of the times there will also be situations where both players will follow the ball handler. And then um, Simons, in this case, he'll fade out to the three point line. So sometimes he'll be open for the three, either at the top or on the opposite wing. So that's another option. Also, if you're playing like my team or my league and you have somebody who's good in the post, you can take those double screens and get into the post and do post fades or just create shots from there. The next play is quick to stagger. This is a three point play. You could call for anybody with three point priority and it's designed to get you a three at the top of the key. But you also have a double ball screen action as well. So right here, I call it for Dame. He starts in the corner. Simons has the ball on the wing. Then he'll get these two screens, come out to the top of the key, and this is the shot that you're designed to get with this play. But if you don't make the pass and hold the ball, you can get uh, these double ball screens right here. And from here, the defense doesn't hedge. Um, Donovan Mitchell goes under, so I get the three. 
So pretty quick and simple double screen play for a three. I wish you could be able to get that double ball screen even if you make the pass because if you make the pass and pass it back, it, the play just ends. So I kind of wish you could make the pass and pass it back if you don't get the shot and still get the double ball screens. But this play is still pretty good and you'll still get a good amount of open threes from it. The next play is quick 53 stagger. This is uh, a three point play you could call for anybody with three point priority and it's designed to get you a three at the top of the key. You could also get a wing three as well. So right here, I call it for Dame. He starts over here in the corner. Simons has the ball at the top. Then uh, Josh Hart, he'll get this down screen from Nurkic. He'll come out to the wing. So um, a lot of times you'll have this shot. So if you have this shot, you could take it. But I just hold the ball, let the play run. And then Dame, he'll get these two screens, come out to the top of the key, and get open for a three. You can also get a three with Simons or, you know, whoever starts to play with the ball. So again, like the play is, it, it starts out the same. Josh Hart, he gets this wing screen. Dame, he gets these double screens. But if you don't make this pass and just keep the ball, um, Dame and Grant will screen for Simons, and then he will come out to the top and get open for a three. So uh, that is an option, even though I don't really like it too much just because um, you'll be standing out here just doing nothing for a while. So from that time, he catches the ball. It's 20 seconds on the clock. And if you just let this run, by the time you get this shot, it's 11 seconds. So um, you're just standing out here for nine seconds, kind of doing nothing. I don't really like that, but against the CPU, I guess it's fine. But against like regular people, I don't really like just standing out here for that long doing nothing. And the last play is quick elbow pin 43. This is a three point play you can call with anybody with three point priority. And you can get a three at the top of the key or on the wing. So right here, I call it for Dame. He starts over here on the baseline and Simons has the ball at the top. I pass it over to Hart and uh, Simons, he'll go to the restricted area and then he'll come out and he'll get a screen from Nurkic. But over here, Dame, he'll get this down screen from Jeremy Grant. And I also noticed this a lot on this play that um, when Simons, like when he flashes through this Dame's man, he slides over a lot just to like show but like they never fully switch but like by him just doing that dame he's he's already gone so um i noticed that a lot with i practice this against different teams too and like i noticed this happens a lot that the guy he would like kind of just show for a little bit but when he does that he just basically gives up the open three because he can't recover in time and right here i get the three with dame so pretty nice play. You'll get some open throughs from it. Another reason I like it is because you have two options basically at the same time. So even if you're playing against somebody and, you know, they're kind of playing lanes on you, they can't be in two places at once. So they can only really stop one of the options. So if you got some good screeners out there, this play can be kind of hard to stop. So well, that's pretty much it for the plays, but there are also a few other plays that could be useful, especially if you like those double ball screen pick and roll plays. So fist 91 drag is one. You dribble here and then boom, get the double ball screen. From there, you know, it's up to you, create a shot. You got all this space up here, like top of the key, wing. You got all this space to work with, with this play. So if you like these type of plays, you'll probably like this. Fist 72 point is another one. You'll get a, a double ball screen and then you'll have shots available to you in the corner or you could go baseline and try to get a, a dunk or a layup. You got fist 21 Nash. So you make this pass right here and then you get your double ball screens. And then you also get this little pin down over here. Fist 62 Horns Nash is another one. So you make this pass over here to the wing and then you get your double ball screens and you just got the whole top of the key and wing area to work with. Quick flex rip is also pretty decent too, especially if you have a power forward that's like good in this like mid mid range mid post iso area. You can try to make a play from here, but you also get this 
this screen right here for a three. And you also get this. I didn't know that. Wait. Hold on. Let me do that again. Interesting. It takes a while to happen, but I guess you can still do it. Yeah, so you got that too. So this playbook is pretty loaded. Like, it has a lot of really good plays that are useful on both this gen and current gen. Current gen has a few really good plays too. And they also have, like, all of these ball screen plays. They don't have, like, the uh, the three-point plays. They have some different three-point plays, but they're good too. So, yeah, the, play the Blazers, like always have like a one of the better playbooks on the game and this year is no different so as always i hope this helped you i hope you enjoyed thanks for watching and stay tuned for more content